What's up, everybody? Welcome to Waterfowl Wednesday, episode number three. I'm Kenyon Clark here with Tyler Kiefer. We did a couple of these back earlier, I guess, end of last year. They were December, probably. I don't know if we've done one in January yet. No. But we were going to try to do one every other week, but stuff gets in the way and you get busy. So that's also why this one was coming out Wednesday night, if I get it posted tonight or tomorrow, either way. But we're going to talk a little bit about just, I mean, an absolute banger hunt that we had together (laughs) we're going to talk about the season in general because it's wrapping up here in the next week and a half or so for us in south zone illinois but uh, and then we'll kind of i guess decide what we're going to do for moving forward with the podcast so i'm sure we'll hopefully maybe have another one before the end of the year where we can really put a bow on it just depends on if we can both get in here or not but kids yes (laughs) yes and functions and all kinds of stuff but i actually the hunt that we went on is the one I've, that's the only one I've been on so far this year. Um, well, you were talking about going Sunday, and yeah, I can't go. A, <laughs> definitely an experience. That was <laughs> yeah. So we looked at the survey down there, and what did it say? Like the last one was like three weeks before that, and they had like five thousand ducks. Yeah, yeah. There's a place in Central Missouri last week that had two hundred and fifty thousand, and like ninety percent of them were mallards. That'd be nice. Yeah. Just one time. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, so we went down there, and we joked that they didn't put the survey out any more recently than three weeks because they probably had, like, <laughs> 100 ducks on the whole place. Because we saw four all, all morning. Yes. So we were I there think for... our drive was there and back was <laughs> longer than we hunted. <laughs> oh, yeah. What did we have for two hours? Yeah. And we saw four ducks. Like, we didn't just have four come in. It wasn't oh. like we saw four flying low. Like, we saw four ducks. <laughs> <laughs> it was like ducks, they were here, and then they were gone. That yeah. was it. <laughs> yeah, like high-flying, zooming, not had any interest in landing where we were at. We didn't hear that many shots. But that was kind of the story of the season, especially back in December. Yeah. Like, I it, think this cold front now it maybe has pushed some, but it's, it's super late. Yeah, it's just the way the, way the weather happened this year. I mm-hmm. mean, we had no rain. Nope. The It was... You wear shorts in December. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that so. w- makes it tough. And we talked about that happening before, like in different years and stuff, when you just don't get the weather to push the birds down. Yeah. And, like, if it doesn't get cold up north soon enough, then we're not going to have them. No, not at all. Not at all. The I had really high hopes this year, though. Yeah. I mean, I always go in. I'm a very optimistic person. <laughs> you I have always to be in, when it comes to duck hunting. <laughs> Dang it, do my dreams get smashed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. That even over there at the pits in Missouri, like guys getting skunked every week, like blinds that or pits that have got no ducks. And like a good day this year seems like it's been five or ten ducks between yeah, four or five guys. You know, it's sometimes just, I wish I had that this year. <laughs> there's yeah, no doubt you'd take four, right? I don't think I even killed four at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I know Blake got in a couple good hunts, but I ain't seen too many guys that have had good hunts this year. Yeah, I took off 11 days during December, middle of December, mm-hmm. and there was no wind, I mean, 40, 50 degrees. Mm-hmm. And it was just, I mean, we hadn't had any rain, mm-hmm. nothing. And I maybe killed three ducks. Yeah. And in those usually, eleven days, <laughs> usually in December, we're killing we're killing our mallards, or, right? And then towards the end of the season, we're going out and you know trying to shoot some divers, things mm-hmm. like that. That that's my favorite. And watch, shooting them divers, man, that is so much fun. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, of course, but yeah, that I mean, we we where we went usually by middle of December, it's pretty good. That's about the best it's going to be at that place. The other one down there. That was definitely my first time going there, and it was it was a cool place, all the cypress trees. Mm-hmm. I thought that was neat. Yeah. You usually don't see that a lot in right. Illinois. Right. That place gets usually gets good about middle of December. The later you go in the year, it seems like the better it gets. But this year, like their board for the whole year was like a good day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they hadn't killed that many ducks. I think the best blind was not like... 12 ducks for the season. I think it was 13 to be exact. Yeah, and this was middle of December. Crazy. And I don't think Union County had done very good either. And normally they have more ducks than, than Horseshoe does. Talk to a guy I work with. He went, uh, not last week, in the weekend before that. Mm-hmm. And they killed, 
they, they were killing their ducks. They killed a couple geese and killed their mallards and stuff, but, I mean, it's been slow. Yeah. Slow, slow. That's one guy I know, they went to Union County a couple times, and they had one good hunt, I think, where they killed, they might have limited them on mallards, but then the other three or four times they went, it was just like our hunt, basically. Didn't yeah. shoot anything, didn't really even see anything. But that's how it's been. And that's one of those things, like, with deer hunting, you can go in and make, like, improvements to make next year better. Like, even if the weather is not great, you can still, if you have the right piece of ground or whatever, and you do the right things, you're still at least maybe going to have a chance. And you're the like, deer ain't from, you know, know what I mean? North yeah. Dakota and Canada. <laughs> exactly. For duck hunting, though, like, even if you had private ground and you made, like, the best property you could make, unless we get the weather to push the birds down, like, you're sure you're going to have some locals, but it's not going to be a great year. No, my... And my friends learned that this year. Yeah. Uh, out a guy, him and his brother bought some property just um, between Waltonville and Sessor there. Mm -hmm. And a little private ground. And they always talked, they, he talked it up big. <laughs> right. He was going to, he invited me out there to go. We end up not, not being able to, but he said, man, it was terrible. Yeah. Terrible, terrible. They flood, I mean, they had flooded corn out there the whole bit. They spent a ton of money. Mm -hmm. and they don't have much to show for it. Not this year. I mean, next year could be totally different. If we have the birds, it'd be dynamite. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if you don't have the birds, if they haven't been pushed down, if they're not migrating, it's not like you have a big local herd like the deer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's not just a thousand ducks flying around all the time. Let's just say I was thankful for deer season this year. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, because most of the time you're ready to start hitting it pretty hard duck hunting by Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah, usually. Yeah, usually after first shotgun season, I try to kill my deer for the first shotgun mm -hmm. season or when duck season starts. And this year, it was not the case. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was still deer hunting in uh -huh. December. <laughs> well, that's part of the reason I haven't even been over to Missouri this year is because, like, man, do I want to drive three hours to go? Just sit there and talk. hopefully kill something. Exactly, and it's not all about killing the ducks. I get that. But no, like, but when you haven't killed them all year, you, you want you exactly. want exactly. It's hard to make a six hour round trip. I, I like to have my freezer full of duck breast <laughs> for, for the summer to cook. Yeah, right. And it's not the case this year. Yeah, we usually have some like we'll freeze it up and we might fry it on New Year's Eve or for the Super Bowl or something. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't happening this year. No, no. I guess there's still some chance for the Super Bowl, but. Yeah, there's still a little I'll bit. I'll have to get out and go. I don't even know. That's, again, though, I'm still in the same place. Like, do I really want to wake up and drive three hours for a day and not see ducks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been rough. Yep. Hopefully next year will be better. You know, but, what, what got me so excited this year is, you know, IDNR finally, you know, they got in there. They got food planted. And then we get no rain. Mm-hmm. And half the stuff they planted was not in water. And then by the time it got in water, there's no ducks. Right. There's nothing here. And you think, you know, you do everything right, and then Mother Nature just knocks you down. Yep. And th that can happen on the property management side, like with deer hunting too. But like you're saying, with even in that circumstance, you can still have luck. But if she doesn't cooperate for the ducks, it ain't going to happen. And even just the no rain, like I'd go down here – just a little bit south of us, kind of in between us, your house and, and my place. And there's some little duck ponds that on a wet year, I mean, you can go kill a couple ducks in a morning if they're around. Yep. And last year I tried that and they were dry, so I ain't even went down there and looked this year because there's no way they got water in them. Maybe now, but I doubt it. We still haven't had that much rain. I bet they're sitting there dry like they were last year. And there's... You know, there's pits and stuff around that I know guys have killed a few birds in, but still nothing like it should be. No. And, um, like I said, I know Blake's had a few good hunts while we're there hunting, but even those days have been good for this year, not like great days. I don't know. Do you guys have any days where you killed even a handful this year? No. I mean, the times that I went, no. It's usually been just... What did you guys kill a couple that one day or three? Yeah, three ducks. Yeah. Or two ducks and a goose in Canada. That was your best day this year, wasn't it? Yeah, and that's terrible. <laughs> that's awful. Yeah. 
I mean, I can sit here and just look back at days that, that we hunted and they keep popping up on my, you know, uh-huh. my memories on Facebook. And I'm like, man, I wish. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> One thing you could still do is go get you a goose hunt in. Find yeah. some Canada somewhere. Find a field they're flying in. <clears throat> Kill your, is it three now? Yeah. It's been three Canadas. And then, obviously, I don't know what it is right now. I have to look it up again for snows and stuff. But yeah. soon, soon that's going to change. It's just going to be nuisance season for them. Mm-hmm. So they're still a little wild. Usually, there's still some of those around. We do, we do have local Canadas. Seems like if you know where they're landing to feed, you can get on them a little bit. But I know where quite a few are right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I keep threatening to go bow hunt some of them. Yeah, they're they're not too far away. Nope. <laughs> did I send you that Snapchat? I had them. You did. In my backyard? Yeah. I'm just on the wrong side of the ditch, or I probably could have flung an arrow at them. <laughs> they were probably 100 yards where they were. Yeah. It was the same group of birds. It wasn't all of them, but probably half that group that flies so, around yeah, back there. A lot of locals that come through here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, we could go sit in that fence row and bow hunt them. That'd be cool. For sure on one side, because what's I know the, who. What's the arrows that have all the, the big fletchings on them? Yeah, I don't know what they're called. I saw a bunch of those this week at the ATA, though. I just shouldn't say a bunch. I saw a couple booths that had them. They were interesting. Yeah, they got like the... the, It's like the big feathers, the big fletches. Yeah, and they got space in between them. It's not even like true fletch, you know. It's It's supposed to, I guess, slow the arrow down. Yeah, and make it easier to see, maybe. I don't know. It definitely slows it down. I've seen some YouTube videos of guys shooting them out of the air. That's what they use those for. I'm thinking they'll just let them land (laughs) and then shoot them like that. Do you have uh, Canada's, Kennedy decoys? Yeah. Like field decoys? Oh, no, none of those. Floaters? Yeah. I mean, I guess we can make them field decoys, but yeah. we need to get ours going. Yeah, we do. That's another thing. We, we've we been kind of slacking If we on. could get some of those Canada's in and go out there and set them up, we could probably kill a couple. That'd be a cool video. It would. Is there uh But our luck, they wouldn't show back up. That's so. true. <laughs> probably not. I'll have to keep an eye on them, keep them scouting. Yeah. That'd be fun, though. Like Heartland Bowhunter, they do a goose, used to do a goose hunt every year, like where they do Canada's bow hunt them. I don't know if they still do that at the end of the season or not, but. Oh, that'd be pretty neat to watch. I'll have to look up that. Oh, yeah. It's, they just let them land in the decoys and then pick them out and shoot them. They all get together. It's it's a cool end of the season kind of thing. Yeah. It'd be fun for us to do. We would definitely video it. That would be neat. <laughs> so we'll have to see about that. And we need to see about. Uh, the finishing touches on our decoys, and then maybe we could get a dozen or so or yeah, two dozen think, in and set them up and just... I think this year was just kind of a feeler <clears throat> to yeah. see where We kind of got the name fly. out there a little bit, too, so yeah. that's good. So we'll, there'll be some people that are looking for them. Matter of fact, I need to get a hold of that one guy and see what he's thinking. The one from Tennessee. I think it was Tennessee. Isn't that what I was telling you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So maybe go down there and get some sent to him and... Mm-hmm. See what he it's worth likes. a shot. Yeah. I got his number somewhere. I thought I'd text him. Because it's getting about that time now. That was back in August. I was like, man, <laughs> I forgot all about you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably did. That's fine. I gave him a t-shirt, so. Yeah. He'll remember that. That's right. <clears throat> That's something else we were just talking about earlier is having some uh, apparel <clears throat> coming in for the waterfowl stuff. Yeah. So if if these hats work out like I want them to, then we can do some waterfowl apparel and I get it put on the website. Get, some, get the ball rolling on that. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we didn't expect to have the season we did. You, and then you started your, your fall pursuit show. Yeah, that took a ton of time this year. And obviously, families come family well, comes yeah. first over everything. So, yep. yeah, I think this ain't my full-time job. <clears throat> right. <laughs> I think the uh, fall pursuit will be better next year because we'll have <clears throat> experience doing it. Like, a big part of that this year was... Just not doing it before and Trial feeling and things out, yeah. yeah, and working through it. So that shouldn't be as bad next year, well, as far as that goes. But we'll see. Now, if we can get some ducks down here, maybe get a <laughs> yeah. few videos of that. <laughs> oh, I would absolutely like to do some duck hunting videos. That'd be just uh, some extra content for the YouTube channel. Wonder if that would be a little bit more difficult. I imagine that. I, I don't know. I think filming ducks would be difficult, and you would absolutely, I think, have to have a a point of view camera for that. Point of view cameras. A lot of people use like just GoPros. They'll set them up mm-hmm. behind them just to get the video of the ducks, yep. you know, dumping in or. Mm-hmm. Which I have the GoPro, so I could do that. A lot of people do the shot cam things. Yeah, the Tacticam has a cool shotgun mounted 
camera that they use. <clears throat> has like a uh, little red dot. Like all the dive bomb videos. They've got that in there. It looks pretty cool. Then they slow mo it. I'm not saying that our videos will be dive bomb quality. No. But <laughs> no. We also don't have the cameras we have are not that. Actually, I think they have a slow mo <laughs> mode on them. I've never tried it. But I know, like, when they're normal shooting, it's like 60 frames a second. So you can't really slow it down too great. Yeah. I, I mean, I got my first, I've got my first GoPro for Did you? Christmas this year. So there we go. So cool. we have two extra cameras. Yeah. Yep. Got two batteries. Mm hmm. Came with the whole kit. Mm hmm. Then they sent me a link because I uh, put the warranty on it. They sent me a link and they said if I fill out the survey, they'll give me like a free accessory kit. Heck yeah. So I'm waiting on the email to come back. I just put it in today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to do the survey. There you go. I don't There's... know if it was maybe uh, a thing for them to take my email. We'll find out. But... <laughs> right. There's surely a way we could mount one of those on a gun. Yeah, I mean, there's always there's kits. You could for even stuff. mount it back there. I've got this one mount for it that is like a wire inside of a rubber casing, basically. So, like, I can wrap it around a tree limb or whatever. Yeah, does it have like, like three legs? Or this one doesn't. Like it's just legs. one, but some of them do. But I could even you even just wrap that around, like right above your thumb on the stock, and have it out to the side. That way, it wasn't in your way. I don't think it would track. Okay, let's Worth try. Shot. It. Not to mess around with it. I haven't even shot clay pigeons this year, so if I get to doing that, I'll get the GoPro out and see what works. And, you know, everybody sits here and talks about how great of a shot they are. And mm -hmm. if you don't practice, I am I am the true believer in that because I'm at fault for that. Mm, right. I don't know how many times this year I had, I mean, the few ducks I had come in, I would miss mm -hmm. and miss. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I said, well, you don't get out and practice. Yeah. How many ducks have I had decoy this year? A handful. Mm -hmm. And the ones that do, you either hit, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> right. Bad, bad. Right. That's another thing I'm worried about. It's like, even when I go, I'm probably not going to be able to hit anything because I haven't even shot my gun this year. I'm thankful I didn't have to spend a bunch of money on ammo. But That's true. But at the same time, I'm like, man, I wish I did. Mm -hmm. I wish I had to. That's kind of a problem you want to have. Yeah, but, I started the season with, I think, like 200 rounds, mm -hmm. and I have... 170. <laughs> I've still got a case. Maybe shot my gun 30 times this year. Yeah, I've, I haven't shot, yeah, at all. I mean, since last winter. That's a little rough. Yeah. It would be rough if I got anything to shoot at anyway, but. Do uh, you got anything else you want to wrap up for this one? No. I guess we need, Well, like I said, we'll probably try to do, if we can do another one, even if it's after season. We'll do that, and then just to look ahead to next year. But we'll probably wrap up the waterfowl Wednesdays for the, and just save them for when the season's going on. <clears throat> if we I happen think that'd to be a do, good idea. If we happen to do a goose hunt or something, or like if you get to go or I get to go on a goose hunt or something, even then we could do come in and do another one. Just to talk about that. Or, or if we get any any guests on the show, we talked about doing that. But we, mm -hmm. and like I said, I messaged my buddy and haven't got back with me yet. So yeah, which it was kind of last minute. I'm not gonna lie. And we'll definitely have that set up for next year too i'll try to get a schedule built out for guests like i do on the other podcast which i need to do this week but i'll try a lot to of stuff to do yeah i'll try to see if we can get some guys lined up like as next year gets closer and then we'll just say hey can you do it this this night or whatever and then we'll have them lined out cool so that's what we can look forward to we'll have if we do anything with the decoys we'll put info up on that Hopefully, I'll have them on the website sometime because I'm about to hit between like winter being busy with deer season and before I start taxidermy. So, I might get some free time to do that well, no, after we, I get uh, fall pursuit wrapped up. I'll say if we don't if we don't get on it right away, obviously, any time during before the season starts would, would yeah. be ideal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to get them at some shows and stuff too so people can see them. Yeah. Look at them, hold them and all that stuff. So, anyway. We'll have any info on that stuff if we get it rolling. I'll make sure and post all that, but I'll let everybody know where they can find it. So Sounds good to me. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for listening. And we've actually had pretty good numbers for these Waterfowl Wednesdays, so I'm happy to see that people are liking them. And cool. we appreciate you guys tuning in to these. Hopefully we'll be a little more consistent come next season. <laughs> yes, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, look for another one. If we can, we'll have it out. But if not, this will be the last one. And, again, just thanks, guys. So our kind of our this is our first year doing the the waterfowl stuff, and I think it's a good kind of soft opening for lack of a better term. 
for us yeah, to do we're, this. So. We're learning. We're learning just with you guys. So. <laughs> yep. We'll do more podcasts next year. Like I said, we'll do the apparel. We'll have some decoys out and stuff like that. So it's so, going to be a big year. Yep, hopefully. Stay tuned. Yep. See you guys.